ducks there, the DUKWs, um, and you have lots and lots of jeeps. The jeeps were, if you imagine, like a pool car. Yeah. So they weren't, you know, you see a lot of personalised jeeps. There may have been some attached to some units, but they were a bit like a pool car. You know, go here, go there, yeah. jump in the jeep, take one and go back to someone else and, and, and send a signal. And of course, a lot of the time, they would have had a radio operator in them to, to make sure that the platoon was kept in touch with the front. Now, we're also going to have a four-inch gun salute. So tell us about this. Yeah, that sound you just heard, if you put your fingers in your ears, is the, uh, the four-inch Navy guns. It's off of HMS Devonshire, which is a World War II cruiser. Um, this cruiser saw extensive service in the North Atlantic, uh, including ferry in the Norwegian Royal Ballot family to safety after the invasion. And at the coronation review, she was the oldest surviving ship in the fleet, with the exception of HMS Victory. Well, the game of scout car there, lots of US... Uh, equipment and of course as you say down, particularly down here towards the south coast yes millions of men millions of tons of tanks and trucks and ambulances and equipment i don't know how they hid it i think it's unbelievable and and hid it by distracting the attention by creating false tank armadas with inflatable vehicles and and, and the, 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 the the conniving ingenuity I know, of, the, of the war deception is just remarkable. It is amazing when you think of it. This is just a small number of the multitude of, of vehicles that were needed for World War II. Um, and in fact, post World War II, uh, for lend leaks into other countries that are in conflict with, with other things, um, they had they didn't buy a jeep to buy, oh, I'll have 10 jeeps. They bought them by the acre. Right. So <laughs> there was a picture of jeeps by the acre. And yeah. they just said, oh, yeah. two acres of jeeps, right? Okay, you, and you get them in whatever condition they come in. Absolutely, but at least you know you've got some spares. Exactly right. Um, but we've got some quite interesting vehicles there, and uh, um, we have one, you saw one, which is the, uh, the Club Reveal. Um, this was done by the, what, the Donut Dollies, yeah. to bring a little bit of cheer to the soldiers. Now, on screen now, on the big screen, you're looking at the, the Willy G with its familiar trailer, but just hidden by it is, well, I, I can't think of any better expression, than it's a mini duck. What is that? It is, it is in essence, it's an, another Willys Jeep, right, it's called a GPA. So again, there was a necessity for a slightly smaller vehicle that right. could float. So, so that's built. basically the Schwimmbargen of, of the Willys world, that's right? right. Yeah. That's yeah. it. However, however long I've been looking at that wartime memorabilia and watching films this time, never once seen one of those. So yeah. that's it. Well, we've got, we've got Every day is a first of good ones, so there's good. another one. Yeah, yeah, we've got a few here. Uh, we've got an RAF chief there as well, um, uh, and that's like by Sam. He's, he's, he's um, uh, driven up from home today to take part. Oh, it's excellent. It, everyone has put a, such a lot of effort in to get their vehicle prepped for this wonderful show. It's just, it, it's amazing. And presumably an awful lot of them were in Normandy in the middle of the summer as well. Absolutely. If, if not all. Anything that moves, I imagine, was in Normandy and they could possibly make it work. Right, so right beside the RAF Jeep, what are we seeing there? We're, it, I think it's, I, I think that is a, like a Marmon. I think it's a British vehicle. Right. I'm not absolutely 100% sure on that one. I'm more especially in the American vehicle. The ones that failed to proceed there, that truck rather looks like a scammel to me. Oh, we're a scammel. <laughs> right. yeah. rather, yeah. rather afraid that it has the look of a, of a flat front scammel. So, oh, yes, um, that is. Yes, it's a little bit. Again, that was one of the workhorses of the British Army.